Morning, we're um, going to continue the motion um, uh, with the low back, uh, but we're gonna add sort of a more generalized flow to it. Uh, again, 20 minutes. Um, so if we start in a standing position, uh, just come to your natural standing or posture, Tadasana Mountain Pose as it's called. And if you don't know where your natural stand is, just jump up and wherever your feet land, that's pretty much your natural pose. And then I want you to focus on your pelvic tilt. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what I mean by that is just sucking the hips back and pushing your, squeezing your bum probably helps, but pushing your pubic bone forward. Okay, and what this does is it engages your core muscles and obviously brings your spine a little better in line. Okay, so just try it. Most of the yogic poses we do in standing involve you doing that, okay, with your pelvis. So just try it, okay, hold it, gently squeeze your bum, feel the core engaged, and start in that position. Arms nicely relaxed by your sides, okay, palms facing forwards, okay, and then we start to inhale as we lift our arms, extending as far as you can in our arms, okay, so as long as you can between shoulders and fingers, all the way up to the top and then turn your palms and then come down, extending those arms on the way down. Okay, we're gonna link it with the breath, okay? So as you turn your palms out, start to inhale. Make the inhale last as long as the journey up to the top. And then turn the palms, exhaling as you come down, extending those arms as you do so. Okay, adding to that, so as you come up with your arms, press into your toes, lift up, and fix your gaze on a non-moving point, okay? It helps your stability and focuses the mind. Exhaling as you come down. Again, inhale, palms facing up, press into your toes. Lift as you inhale, as you start to exhale, turn the palms, coming back down, heels to the floor. Okay, a couple more of those, inhaling, arms come up, nice big inhales, okay, feel that. Uh, stretch as you come up to the top, turning the palms, coming down, and one more, inhaling, palms facing out and up, up on toes, exhaling, coming down into your standing posture. Okay, we're going to start with some sun salutations to warm up the whole body. Uh, so come to the tops of your mat, <coughs> again get into your natural standing posture, Soften the knees, pelvic tilt, okay, lifting as uh, high as you can between top of hips and shoulders. Okay, pull your belly in, don't allow it to point, poke out, arms relaxed down by your sides. Okay, and then crown, lift it away from your shoulders, gently push the shoulders uh, girdle towards the ground. Close your eyes, take two nice steady deep breaths. Okay, on the next one, inhaling, arms come up to the top. And then into a swallow dive. So bending the knees as much as you need to, nice and steady as you fold for the first time, feeling that gentle extension in the back. Okay, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, lifting the right leg, coming back into your lunge. Now just soften into this position. Okay, you can press into the toe, heel goes back. Pause for a couple of moments, feel that beautiful hip flexor stretch all around your pelvic area. Okay, try and <coughs> get the uh, spine aligned. Okay, looking maybe 45 degrees to the front, okay, into your lunge. Okay, once you're settled there, once the body's used to it, stretching, breathing. And then as you exhale, back into downward dog, so the front foot joins, left into downward dog, bending the knees. Okay, just getting your front half aligned, hips to fingertips. Okay, look down at your feet and then steadily start to push your heels towards the floor. Don't worry if your legs don't straighten completely, just go by your hamstrings. Breathe. Okay, you can gently bicycle the legs, gently sway the hips. Okay, just get that free flow uh, movement, feeling through your body, see how it feels today. Remember, this is the first uh, big moves of the day, so take your, take your time. OK, 
Okay, into downward dog, and then inhaling, coming forward into plank, nice and slowly, shoulders over backs of hands, bum bound just above the horizontal, press into your toes, push forward, pull back with your hands, press in, extend, and then squeeze hands to toes, toes to hands, really feel the squeeze, take a final breath in, exhaling, soften the knees to the floor, soften the elbows, lift your head, Knees, chest, chin, okay, nice and slowly. And then straighten your legs, point your toes as you inhale, coming up into cobra. Okay, don't overdo it, look up at the ceiling if you can. Okay, shoulders away, you saw my squeezing together, okay, shoulders back and away. Okay, and you can gently pull your chin in, feel through your back. Nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, press into your hands, lift your bum. Tuck your toes, coming back up into downward dog, but you can go back to this extended child pose position before you sort of launch into your toes, back up into downward dog. Breathing, feeling, releasing, before bringing your right leg forward. Now, remember, try and squeeze your knee up. Okay, it makes it a bit easier to step forward. Okay, we're on the other side now, so feel the difference in your hip flexor. Again, steady everything down in your lunge position. Okay, straighten that leg or, and lock it out, but just straighten it, feel the stretch all the way through left hip flexor and front thigh. Okay, steady the spine, look down at the floor, feel nicely balanced and steady before we then inhale. And then as you exhale, <coughs> left foot joins right, back into your forward fold. Again, bending the knees as much as you need to. Relaxing chest, torso, arms. Nice and slowly, bending the knees, arms out to the side. Extending those arms as we come up, all the way up to the top. Press those fingers up to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to come down into a sort of half forward fold with our arms forward, bending the knees as much as you need to. Okay, so tilt forward from the hip. Try and bring your arms and your torso to a level position. If it's a little bit too much, bring your arms into goddess. That's fine too. Okay, come down as far as you feel comfortable. Arms pressing <coughs> forward. Okay, into chair pose. So just tilting a little bit up, arms in line with your torso. Again, chair is all about how far your bum is towards the floor. Okay, you're exercising those thighs and also your arms in line with your torso. Okay, tuck your chin in, so spine straight, nice and slowly as you inhale, come up to standing. Nice deep breath in, press everything up. As you exhale, swallow dive once more into our second sun salutation. Coming down again, feeling through that low back into <coughs> forward fold. Just pausing for a couple of moments, inhaling. As you exhale, left leg this time goes back. Now we're coming through on the other side. Again, try and settle into that high lunge position. Okay, feel it in this uh, left thigh, top of the thigh. Okay, we, the way we do that, press into that rear toe, gently push the heel back, push the back of the knee towards the ceiling. Okay, and then into downward dog. So right foot joins left, downward dog. Bend the knees, align the front. Okay, push your bum to the ceiling as you extend the heels towards the floor. Look back at your ankles. Breathe nice and slowly. Plank position, so shoulders over hands. Okay, bum slightly above horizontal. <laughs> Hold, squeeze, hands towards toes, toes towards hands. Hold the squeeze. Nice and slowly. Knees, chest, chin, soften the elbows. Lift the chin. Hold in this position like a poised locust. Okay, you can feel that curl in your back. And then flatten, straighten everything. Extend the body, press into your hands. Elbows squeeze into your side. Okay, shoulders back. Okay, try and make as much space between earlobes and tops of shoulders as you can. Feel it in your beautiful spine. Nice and slowly, press into your hands, <coughs> lift your hips. 
bum back to heels, extended child, tuck the toes. Okay, just allow that low back to sort of beautifully extend as you come back. Press into your toes, come back up into down dog. Pressing knees back. Okay, and then coming forward on your left side this time. Okay, remember nice and slowly, shoulders forward, over backs of hand, create space, squeeze your left knee up to your chest, place your foot. Okay, it doesn't matter if you use a hand to pull your uh, heel forward, whatever's easiest, hold for a couple of moments, get used to the pose, coming back through the other side, so you'll feel it again on the other hip flexor, push into your toe, heel back, <coughs> okay, belly out the way of your thigh, Try and straighten through the spine, pull your chin in, final breath, and then right foot forward into our forward fold. <clears throat> okay, from this position, what I want you to do is just to bend your knees, bum to the floor, arms pendulum forward. Try and come into our squat position. <clears throat> okay, you might be up here, that's fine too. Just go with the strength in your thighs, extend the arms, and then nice and slowly coming up to chair. So you may come up a little, bring the arms up in line. Okay, and then we're gonna come into this half forward fold sort of hip thrust. So just uh, start to straighten the legs, push the hips back, push the fingers forward, extend into half forward fold. Breathe <coughs> nice and slowly, coming up into <coughs> sort of more traditional chair pose and then straightening palms together coming down into our mountain pose relax the elbows close your eyes and just take two nice deep steady breaths feeling through your body relaxing everything down Final breath here, inhaling, arms out to the side, extended arms, and then coming into forward fold, so swallow diving, bending the knees. <coughs> We're coming back to the floor, by the way, so coming to forward fold, and then inhaling, right leg comes back again, why not, where papa? And then left foot joins into downward dog. And then bending the knees, come to the floor, into tabletop. Okay, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And then just gently start to sway the hips from side to side. Okay, just feel that sort of loosening of your <coughs> tendons around your hips. And then come to a steady state standstill. And then weight into the left hand, inhale, arm comes up. Okay, twisting that torso round. Press into <coughs> all five points on the floor, knees, tops of feet, and left hand. Nice deep breath in. And then thread the needle, so right arm under. We're not gonna come all the way to the floor, so just press that right hand out as far as it will go, twisting through the torso. And then as we inhale, Coming back, we're going to come into a camel pose. So keep lifting that arm. Left arm goes to the rear heel. You can come onto the toes if you want. Lifts you a little bit higher. Into a camel pose, half camel. Okay, so press those hips forward. Extend that right arm up to the ceiling. Feel that beautiful stretch up the right hand side. Okay, that's the move. Okay, if you're particularly flexible in your back, you can bring your foot into the floor. Okay, but pushing your chest forward and up and thrusting your hips forward, okay? Try not to lean back too much. Okay, and then coming back down into our tabletop position. Okay, we'll do that one more on the same side. So into the left hand, twisting with the right. Okay, holding for a little bit just to, again, allow the body to adapt. Take a breath in, exhaling, threading the needle, pushing things through. Push that arm away as far as you can. Okay, as you start to inhale again, coming back up into this camel pose. Okay, so release the left hand, bring it onto your left heel. 
push those hips forward, chest forward and up, curling through the back, extend that arm up to the ceiling, okay, beautiful stretch. Okay, feel it at the tops of your thighs probably, final breath, and then come to the floor nice and steadily as we swap over. Okay, so weight to the right hand, inhale, left arm comes up, twisting through, take a breath in, as you exhale, threading the needle, left arm pushing all the way through, okay, twisting that torso, coming up into camel pose, okay, so the same arm we've looped is going up in the air, right hand back to the right heel, I sometimes come off my toes to begin with, so the body gets used to it, before I then put the foot on the ground, okay, hips forward, chest forward and up, curl through the upper spine, hold, okay, just sort of settle into the pose, it's always best to give yourself a couple of moments in the pose, extending the body, breathing, nice and slowly, okay, come off that extended stretch first of all, before we come back into our tabletop, one more on the same side, okay, inhaling, right arm comes up, Take a breath in, oh, sorry, wrong side, aren't I? <laughs> and then left arm holding through, okay, extending that arm away. And then nice and slowly <coughs> coming back into camel, okay, extending those hips, arms comes up, chest up to the ceiling, hold, breathe, final breath, come off the stretch come back into tabletop and we're going to come into extended child okay so <clears throat> keeping your hands planted in tabletop just release your hips back to uh, your heels and then just hold sort of allow that low back to extend and soften okay feeling as you're as long as you can be between hips and fingertips you feel it in your armpits, <coughs> release your head to the floor if you can get it there, otherwise just try and relax it, head and neck. Final breath, come back up <coughs> to a kneeling position. Okay, inhale, arms out to the sides, up to the top. And then we're just going to twist to the left, so arms come out to the sides, twisting, release the arms to the floor. And just, you can use the leverage of your hand on your knee and your arm on your back just to gently help the twist. And we, it's good to do this with the breath. So as you inhale, come off the twist slightly. As you exhale, press into <coughs> your leverage positions. And then as you exhale, twist from the waist up, last thing round is your head. Okay, try and flow in that way. So inhale, come off the twist. Exhale, lift to the crown and use the exhale to twist. One more of those. Inhale, come off the twist. Exhale, final time. Okay, as you inhale, arms up to the top, coming around to the front. Exhale, <coughs> twisting the other way, arms coming down. Okay, hold the natural twist position. Inhale, lift through the crown. As you exhale, use the exhale, twisting from your waist up to your head. Remember the lower spine doesn't twist too much. It just increases as you get to the top, top of the spine with your head twists quite a lot. Okay, so think of it in that way as a sort of a spiral. <coughs> okay, coming back off the twist and then extending for a second time. Inhaling, coming back naturally, exhaling, third and final time. Inhale, coming back, arms up to the top. And then exhaling, <coughs> hands to the floor. Just lift slightly off your bum, cross your ankles, and come into a sitting position. Oh, wait, yes, good go, that's it. Okay, come to the fronts of your mats. Uh, <coughs> so sitting in staff position, okay, so engage the muscles of your legs, flex your feet, spread your toes, <coughs> back to the knees to the floor. Okay, push up through your sit bones, lift through the crown of your head. Okay, inhaling, arms come up into staff pose, press the fingers up to the ceiling, 
Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, twisting once more, same as we just did, okay, but in a different position. Come round, it's a little bit trickier. You're using your traverse abdominals more. Come into a twist position this time, hold it. Use the leverage again. Nice straight spine. And then inhale as you come back up. Exhale, twisting the other way. Holding this time. Just allowing that body to soften into the position. Coming back, lifting up. And then into our forward fold. So hands forward, <clears throat> okay, press the chest towards your feet. Okay, extend your arms, come as far as you can. Soften the knees if you need to. Allow the body to get used to the position. Soften the, ankle, soften the elbows, relax your head and neck. Okay, try pulling your heels all the way back and then squidging your chest to your thighs. Okay, that's kinder, you still get a stretch. And then you can just gently push your heels away a little bit more. Breathe into it. Okay, nice and slowly, coming back. Okay, lifting, extending through the spine as you come back. Okay, come halfway down, arms forward. <coughs> Okay, we're going to come into Kali Mudra, so intertwine the fingers, four fingers pointing forwards, cross the thumbs on the back. Okay, now we're holding, obviously, with our core. Okay, try not to, like me, sort of slouch through your low back. Okay, so lift it, try and keep it nicely in line. Okay, press the fingers away so you feel that stretch in the back. Okay, nice deep breath in. As you exhale, twisting to... That left hand side okay now hold as far around as you can and feel the squeeze in your core okay inhale come back exhale twist the other way okay really feel that squeeze on the twist as you come back inhale one more either side exhale to the left and obviously the further you come back uh, the more your core is working inhale come back but don't overdo it exhale to the right Inhale, come back, and then under control, nice and slowly if you can. Squeeze, focus on a non-moving point. Bring your first vertebrae to the floor, and then you can sort of relax as you roll vertebrae with vertebrae, bringing your arms to that vertical position. Keep them going up and over your head once your head hits the floor. Point your toes, <coughs> point your fingers. Okay, extend through the body, flex your feet, keep your arms extended. Nice deep breath in. And then relax everything down. Bend your knees, <coughs> soles together. Allow your knees to flop out to the sides. Palms facing up, close your eyes, tuck your chin in. Just let everything go. Just feel that soft engagement in your inner thigh muscles. Allow it to happen. And then with the pelvic floor, so as you inhale, squeeze your pelvic floor up towards your rib cage. Once you fully breathe in, hold the breath, hold the squeeze. Hold, hold, hold. Release the breath, release the squeeze. Under control, okay, just don't let it go. Under control, inhale, squeeze your <clears throat> pelvic floor muscles. Inhale fully, hold the squeeze, hold the breath. Release, exhale, release the squeeze. Final time, inhale, squeeze and hold. Exhale, release. Okay, bring your knees back together and then fully cross right leg over left. <coughs> Arms down by your sides, palms facing down. Nice and slowly lift your feet off the floor. So squeeze your knees towards your head as hard as you can. You can feel your tummy muscles <coughs> nicely engaged. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then bring your hands to your knees and then relax your core a little bit as you use your hands to squeeze. Now you should feel an increase in your right buttock. Okay, that's your piriformis muscle. Okay, so try and relax that right buttock cheek tension as you hold it. Okay, it will soften as you hold it and breathe a little bit more. 
and then nice and slowly release it. Arms out to the side, keep your legs crossed, bring your left foot to the floor, and then allow your knees to come to the right hand side. Okay, the weight of that right leg, pushing your left knee towards the floor. Look out over your left shoulder. Okay, so knees to the right, looking out to the left. Just soften everything down this left hand side. Okay, nice and slowly, bring your knees up. <coughs> Allow your low back to hit the floor, uncross and swap over. Arms down by your sides once more. And same thing, so lift your foot off the floor, squeeze your knees to your head, feel this engagement, sides of your body <coughs> and your tummy. Okay, squeeze, 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 and then hands soften, squeeze, but continue to pull. And then feel your left buttock sort of tighten up. Okay, that's that. Relax that muscle, that piriformis muscle. Relax, 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 soften, soften, soften. Release foot to the floor, arms out to the sides, and then release the knees to the other side. Okay, don't worry about how far they go. Okay, just allow your body to tell you uh, when it's right. Okay, <clears throat> mind stop about here, that's fine. Look out over the right hand side, and then just try and relax all of these muscles you feel nicely extended. Breathing deeply and slowly. Okay, and then bring your <coughs> knees back up. And cross <coughs> feet to the floor, arms down by your sides. I'm just going to do a, a gentle sort of pelvic tilt in this position, okay? So as we did when we were standing, what I want to do is allow your hips to sink into the floor. So sort of push them into the floor, allow your tailbone your pubic bone just to lift okay so you'll feel this squeezy tension in your tummy hold and then release it and go the other way okay so push your tailbone into the floor lift your hips so your back curls okay lift it up as far as you comfortably can really pressing down into your tailbone here lifting the hips here okay now do it with the breath so as you inhale swap over so hips to the floor Tailbone up, you can press into your feet as well if it helps you to stabilize. Squeeze. As you exhale, come the other way, so hips up, tailbone into the floor. Inhale, scoop the other way. Squeeze, hold, you can feel it, you can feel, you feel your muscles engaged. Final time, exhale, go the other way. And then relax. Okay, straighten your legs, come into your final relaxation position, Savasana, arms by your sides, palms facing up, chin tucked in. Scan your body, so feel everything we've been using. Try and let everything go, try and relax everything. Nice, steady, deep breaths. Okay, focus on the movement in your chest and your belly. Allowing your belly to balloon, your chest to expand on the inhale. Follow the path of the air into your lungs. As you exhale, remember diaphragm, pull towards and up towards your ribs, pressing all of the air from the lower part of your lungs out, allowing the chest to fall. Okay, just that flow. Imagine it like a wave. Okay. Waves breaking as you inhale, everything expands, waves receding as you exhale, squeezing everything down. Okay, just relax, muscles away from bones, breathing in, relax, breathing out, breathe out tension, breathing in, relax, breathing out, relax. Okay, stay in this position for as many minutes as you feel 
necessary. Replenishing the body, appreciating it for what it's just done. 